it's important to know how to convert between decimals and degrees uh, measure for angles. So this is a quick start just to, to talk about how to read this. The first number is degrees, right? And then minutes and then seconds. So this says 15 degrees, 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is half of an hour. So I think it's going to make some sense that this is going to be 15.5 degrees. But let's look at why that would be true. And it's true. First off, we know that I'm not trying to be funny, that we automatically get to 15 degrees, plus we get, right, plus we get 30 times minutes, times one minute, and a minute is the same as 1 over 60 degrees, which gives us 30 over 6, which gives us 0.5, so I think this is pretty okay. It gets weird, and I'm going to go on in the second video to give you more difficult examples. Let's look at this the other way. Let's say if we started with a decimal, so what if we had 32 point two five degrees and I want you to give me that back in degrees minutes seconds remember degrees minutes seconds right well how you do that is this right you'd get you get your 32 degrees wouldn't you plus you have this part of a degree and that part of the degree is one-fourth right point twenty five is one-fourth and it's one fourth times 60, isn't it? Times 60 degrees is a whole minute. So that, this is what portion, right? This is, sorry, I meant to call this 60 minutes because 60 minutes is one degree and we have one fourth of a degree. So one fourth times 60 is 60 over four is equal to 15. So we get, sorry, let me do that this way. We get 32 degrees. 15 minutes all right so we're going to do a couple more videos like this i want to keep this one really really short um, and talk about how to do our conversions from one to the other and back so i'm going to do one more video on this quickly uh, and then talk about stuff that's just a little bit more difficult so okay thanks for watching